My dear friends, we love you so very much, try for a moment to imagine an existence without end. All your goals now would be replaced with new ones, for eternity. All plans you make now will be fulfilled or replaced by others. All experiences you have would satisfy or not, and new desires would arise. All you have lost will be found. And this would continue forever. For some of you, that sounds incredibly exciting. You can see so many possibilities. You have so many chances to experience joy. For others of you it sounds like an endless journey through hell. Wherever you are now will define how you feel about eternity, for one simple reason your future is based on what you are attracting now. The good news is that you can change your vibration at any time. You all exist for eternity. You never end. Your lives come and go. Your bodies come and go. The roles you play within for one another begin and end. But you don't end. You exist forever. You have forever to do everything you desire. You have forever to learn what you want to learn. You have forever to experience all that you wish. What you don't do in one life, you can do in another. What you don't accomplish in this dimension, you may choose to try in another. Can you imagine your endlessness? All the stress upon your planet arises from the feeling of a finite existence. You fear death as if it is an end or a diminishment, but instead, it is an expansion into greater awareness. You fear missing your deadlines or opportunities, not realizing opportunity will cycle to you repeatedly, if not in one form, then in another. You fear loss, not yet knowing that there is no end to a relationship once set in motion. Only the two involved get to define the dance as you weave yourselves through eternity. You fear not being enough when you already are, and always have been, and always will be, even as you expand into more. The single root cause of all stress is feeling finite. The single root cure for all anxiety is to reconnect with your spouse, with love, in any way you choose to do it. Right here, right now, you can embrace your eternalness by enjoying this moment. Look around. What can you find enjoyable now? It is a human tendency to do your utmost to rush through undesirable moments in an attempt to find better ones, but you can't do it. It goes against vibrational law. You can't hurry up and heal to feel better if you can't find something to feel better about now. You can hurry up and rush to abundance from a feeling of lack. You have to find something to feel abundant about now. You can't hurry up and find a partner to calm your loneliness. You have to grant yourself some way to tune into the better feelings you desire right here and now. You can't hurry up your kids or spouse to help them feel better so you can feel better. You have to feel good about something now if you are to be of service to them. Now, dear ones, is where all your power exists. Now is where you tune into love or something else. What you tune into now starts to attract more of that later. As you tune into the same things you see now and again and again, you get more of them. As you tune into the best feeling you can find here and now, you start to attract better. Now is where it all begins. Now is where your future begins. Now is where your new opportunities begin. Now is when you start to aim toward love again. Now is where you point yourself towards abundance. Now. Dear ones is all you have. You've heard it a gazillion times. The past is gone, except in so far as you focus upon it. The future is not yet here except in so far as your focus right now. Now, dear ones is where to place your focus. You can, of course, enjoy your thoughts of the past now, and in this present moment, your enjoyment will draw more of that to you. You can learn from your past, and in this moment, Celebrate your new wisdom with appreciation, and you will attract what your wiser self now focuses upon. You can think of something you anticipate in the future and you will attract that to you to the degree you allow for it, with joy. But now, dear ones, no matter where you place your attention is where you will find your connection with the universe. Now, whatever you think about, you are attracting into your life. Wherever you point your focus in space or time, the feelings caused by your thoughts will tell you what you are attracting. Your vibration is always what matters most. We must repeat that. Your vibration matters most. 
Your vibration is what attracts. The topic is irrelevant. If your crop of apples makes you feel abundant, while thinking of losing money does not then think about your abundant crop of apples often. As a result, you will attract abundance in all areas of life. If you feel lonely thinking of years without a partner, celebrate feelings of camaraderie and love with your dog, avoid thoughts that make you feel lonely, and you'll attract a loyal partner. You are learning to treat yourself more often as the eternal, vibrational beings that you truly are. Right here, right now, as you journey through eternity, grant yourself permission to find something to feel good about. We do understand that there is plenty to feel upset about but if you challenge yourself, in this moment, to find something to feel good about, you can find it. It may not be what you want to change right now, but if you can shift your vibration frequently, you will shift your reality. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels